few weeds get more publicity than crabgrass. And if you have crabgrass in your lawn, you probably don't want to have it this year. We're out in this lawn here, and we see that we have some bare spots. Bare spots, or thin turf, is a great place for where crabgrass is going to come in. It likes those south-facing slopes or areas near your sidewalk or your driveway that get really hot. One of the keys to crabgrass germination is soil temperature. We have a soil probe with us here this morning. We see that we're almost 70 degrees. Anytime we're between 60 and 70 degrees, it's perfect for crabgrass germination. So a couple weeks ago, when these soil temperatures were around 55, we put a pre-emergence out with our fertilizer application to help keep the crabgrass from coming in. Now a pre-emergence product, product or a crabgrass preventer works by putting a barrier down in the organic layer of the turf that when those crabgrass seeds germinate, they grow into that barrier and then that stops them from growing anymore and that way we prevent the crabgrass from becoming a problem. So once we have the soil moistures and our temperatures are in the 60, the crabgrass is really going to flourish. The best way to keep the crabgrass out is with a pre-emergence because once you get it, it's very difficult to kill a grass inside another grass. Now there are some products you can buy to do this, but it's a little bit tricky and the temperatures have to be pretty hot to get it to work. As you go through the summer and get into the late summer, if you have a problem with crabgrass, well, you might just want to regroup for next year because as soon as we get a frost, that crabgrass is going to check out. I would just make sure to keep mowing it so that the crabgrass doesn't produce a lot of seed. They say one year seeding produces seven years weeding, so any amount of seed that you can keep from going back into the yard is really going to be to your benefit. Overall, build a healthy turf, keep it fertilized, and over a number of years you might find that eventually you don't even have to use a crabgrass pre-emergence anymore because your lawn is filled in and there's really no voids for that crabgrass to come in. <laughs>